it, it's the claw. That's all we need to know. That's Does it, it work? No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we have the second claw. So as a pro, like in, in case this doesn't work. on an arm that has a fi one fixed side and the other side uh, moves with the servo and right now the only problem is this side here is pretty wobbly so we've just been working on stabilizing it by adding um, some axles and um, pretty much uh, spacers. Okay cool so have you come across any problems so far and how'd you fix them? Yes we have come across many problems. Using this we lack the resources there's some uh, parts that are missing so we had to improvise using these white spacers and using other uh, bronze bushels and different types of uh, bolts and nuts to help us to stabilize our uh, moving arm. But we haven't fully gotten it yet, so we need to add some more parts. Um, so today we completed the second half of our double reverse four bar. And now we have one side completed. And yesterday we had this part done with just one half. And now today we added these gears at the top which make this all work together and go on. So today the plan is to finalize the build or to finish start the initial parts of designing the full robot so you can see, um, as of last session, we completed half, or like one side, of the double reverse four bar, and it extends pretty well. And then we're basically going to replicate this, and then bridge the two parts together, both on the end and in the middle. And then that's what we're working on right now, so we made pretty good progress towards that. And then we're slightly behind on deciding a final gripper design. But we're going to finalize that and then get our final one for the robot built today as well as start some basic programming of the chassis, moving around and stuff. Never it's been abandoned. Been so do it. No. So this is our finalized claw design. See, it contains these rubber wheels, Andy Mark compliant wheels, and one side is rotates while the other side is static. Uh, while we were building this, we ran into uh, multiple issues, like putting on these wheels. Last time we had these tiny wheels, couldn't grab much, couldn't grab a uh, grip onto this. And we were also having trouble with stability issues and other things like finding parts, but we were able to work around it with some teamwork and some time. And now we're able to grab this cone pretty easily. Watch this. Yeah, there. Building right now. So latch onto this. Go up here. Like that. Okay, so. What are we going to attach We can use a plate oh. instead of bending and turning it upside down. And then. Okay, we'll see. Yes. And then we can. I have these type of no, L-shaped brackets. Yeah, I got it. L-plates. That's how we're going to connect. Let's put these on first. And then we can a new prototype that I mentioned earlier. And this is our old prototype that is being about to be scrapped for reasons that will be shown. So, uh, in our new design, we have a servo, which makes the overall design like really light. Um, whereas this one, it has a lot of gears, it uses a chain, it uses heavier wheels, and it uses a core hex motor. And number two is, once this, um, this design grabs the wheels, even if it does hold on, there still has to be some kind of force on the motor to um, keep it there in place, otherwise it'll just drop. Also, um, the the gears, this is made so that it goes out and in, but the if the gears turn, that's what forces the wheel to turn. So if this gear moves this gear, then this will go out. 
and it won't spin and it'll just drop it no matter what so yeah So what we did today was we completed the second half of our arm and our double reverse four bar and now what we're deciding is how to attach our claw onto our arm and we decided that we're going to do it over here. So we're going to attach it around here so it picks up the cone and then it could drop it like up here. This is the yellow jacket. This is Miles Morales. Yeah, why is that? It's not aligned. This is Clifford the Big Red Allen Key. Change. This is Gwen. This right here to be a little more up. And this is Prajwal. Oh, this is Elmo. We are currently connecting the two sides of our double reverse four bar. We kind of did this yesterday, but we noticed some issues. So one thing that we've changed is we added elastics to one side and we're going to do that to the other side too. And that allowed us to extend the full way. We weren't able to extend the full way previously. And we are adding like a mutual axle between the two so that it's even more stable as well as like an actual beam between them. So this should hopefully increase the stability by quite a bit. Well, we changed our chassis design again because our old chassis was a little too small for our whole arm mechanism. So once we made it wider, we had an issue with fitting our motors and everything into it. So what our solution was is that we're going to shift the motor end wheel all like, under the robot. That way we mount it in such a way that the motor and wheel are under it, except the wheel doesn't hit the main frame. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is our finalized double reverse four bar design for our lift. And we're really happy with how it turned out. If you've been following along with all the videos from the beginning, you remember that on Sunday, we started with our initial design of a four bar and that uses like very similar parts. That was just a, like a single four bar on just one side where we had these beams and then this rev extrusion with the, um, this adapter to a axle hub and then we were rotating it up. Actually at that time we used motor hubs but since then we've obviously extended the design to add this gear train so that we have two um, that are powered together and we elected to use two motors uh, one on each side eight, for simplicity because it's more symmetrical so some challenges we faced with this model was like flimsiness so what we saw when we completely extended the double reverse four bar was that it would be really flimsy side to side and how we fixed that was we added beams in between both of the both of the sections. So then we have one beam here, one beam here, and then we connected them both in the middle. So now they won't be flimsy because then they'll also be implanted into the robot. And we can just properly have it go up and down without any side to side motion. So now we'll be extending it to the highest junction. And you, what you should notice about that is that First of all, this channel remains in the same angle the entire time because of the nature of it being a four bar. But because we have two of them in this like reverse orientation, it also moves in a like a, a like a perfect straight line up and down, which is really helpful for alignment. Because if we were too sh if we like didn't extend it all the way or something like that, and we had to go up a little bit higher, the driver wouldn't have to back up and adjust. So that's one of the advantages advantages you see in this design over something like a rotating arm. And then if we can get to the high junction, we can obviously get to the mid and the low junctions too. 
So we originally had a 12 by 12 uh, chassis, but we uh, it wouldn't be, be able to fit the arm. So we had to we had to expand the chassis, and to make sure that we didn't go above the uh, 18 by 18 limit, we ended up having to put the wheels under the chassis, and we had to raise the chassis by a couple of inches. So now you can like see the motors and the whole like frame and the chassis there uh, actually above where all of the wheels are. And also another thing we have to do is for our claw, we have to move this channel sort of like before it was longer, we shrink, shrunk it down and pushed it back. And also to make sure everything fits under, we had these two column pillars, which are which are motors mounted to, we have them set on an offset. That way everything can fit inside uh, 18 by 18 and we can clearly cross through the whole mount. It's it's like it's it's like a progress picture, you know. Yeah. Like progress. That. Right after a workout, right? Workout progress. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Okay.